This lesson will show how to solve a system of three equations with three unknowns using an augmented matrix and then writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form using the Desmos matrix calculator. For a quick review, to write the augmented matrix, the equations must be in standard form, meaning the x, y, and z terms must be on the left and the constants on the right. Because we have a system of three equations with three unknowns, we have a three by four augmented matrix where the first column contains the coefficients of x, the second column contains the coefficients of y, the third column contains the coefficients of z, and the fourth column contains the constants. To write the augmented matrix in reduced row on form, we must have a diagonal of ones, and then all the elements above and below the ones must be zero. So going back to our system, let's first highlight the coefficients of the variable terms. In the first equation we have 1x minus 2y plus 1z equals 2. Notice in the second equation there is no x term. If it's helpful we can write this as 0x plus 1y plus 2z equals 0. In the third equation we have 1x plus 1y plus 3z equals negative 2. So the first equation gives us the first row in the augmented matrix, which is 1, negative 2, 1, 2, which is already written out here. The second equation gives us a second row of 0, 1, 2, 0, which is also shown. And the third equation gives us the third row of 1, 1, 3, negative 2. And now we enter the augmented matrix in the Desmos matrix calculator. To begin, we click New Matrix, and now we need to change a number of rows and columns. We have a three by four augmented matrix, which means we change number of rows to three and the number of columns to four. And now we enter the elements row by row. We enter one, right arrow, negative two, right arrow, one, right arrow, two, right arrow for the first row. For the second row, we have zero, right arrow, one, right arrow, two, right arrow, zero, right arrow, and for the third row, we have one, right arrow, one, right arrow, three, right arrow, negative two, and enter. Let's just double check this. Also notice how this matrix has been labeled matrix A. Everything looks good. And now to find the reduced row echelon form of matrix A, we click RREF, which stands for reduced row echelon form, and then enter A for matrix A, and enter. And notice on the right, the augmented matrix is now in reduced row echelon form, where the first row is 1, 0, 0, negative 3, the second row is 0, 1, 0, negative 2, and the third row is 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's go ahead and write this down. And now to find the solution, we simply write the equations represented by each row in the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Notice how this first row represents the equation 1x equals negative 3, or just x equals negative 3. The second row represents the equation 1y equals negative 2, or just y equals negative 2. The third row represents the equation 1z equals 1, or just z equals 1. And we often write the solution to a system as an ordered pair, or in this case an ordered triple, where the ordered triple is negative 3 comma negative 2 comma 1 which means this ordered triple satisfies all three equations. And because we have one solution, we can classify the system as consistent and independent. I hope you found this helpful.